We're at 4 wins, 0 losses right now. Play against Maokai, Shadow Owls, I guess. Mono Shadow Owls. That looks like a very interesting idea with Thrash and Maokai. I guess Thrash is more of a. You know, usually you see it more of an offensive uh, deck. Whereas Maokai. Maokai is more of a late game finisher, right? It doesn't really care if uh, it comes out early or late or whatever. Because his level up condition is permanent. Just gonna toss 3. Okay, very good. We didn't toss Nautilus. <laughs> Imagine tossing Nautilus. Wait, is it possible to toss champions? Oh! Ah, no wonder. You never ever obliterate champion cards. So... That's a really good... That's really fortunate. I think I'm just gonna get the 2 attack in. That's a really good safeguard that uh, Riot put in. I guess people will be really tilted if they proliterate their champions. They will go against the spirit of the deck. Because obliterate is basically for either maybe Nautilus or Maokai, right? And <laughs> imagine, imagine obliterating them. Originally when I was thinking about a constructed idea, I was thinking like how many Nautilus do I have to put into my deck or Maokai to draw them consistently and I guess one or two is enough then. Just cause uh, you, you cannot ever toss them away by accident. Elusive for one round. Could be could be useful. I'm gonna let the, the one damage go through. Uh, it's probably a good idea to play slot board. Round start, grant me plus one for each card you, you drew last round. Oh, you drew! Then shuffle my stats. So every round he gets one more stat. Oh, I thought I thought it was for, wait, for each card you drew. For some reason I thought it was uh, for each card you... The treasure was in me the whole time. <clears throat> For some reason, I thought, uh, I thought that uh, it was. For each card you. For each for each card you play. So, hmm, let's think about think about attacking or stunning him. I think I'll stun him first. I don't really need to draw a card, though drawing is a pretty good option as well. And I could potentially give my slot bot ghost if because uh, I feel like protecting this guy, right? It's pretty good. <clears throat> oh damn. Yeah, he did he did play something pretty big. Hmm. We don't necessarily have to attack either. Uh your instincts. Oh, TF says trust my instincts. So I guess we won't attack. Okay. Function call. Celebrate. Oh my god, the slot bot is ridiculous. We can have zero five. What if you what if all your stats went into attack? Do you just die? <laughs> Do you just die? <laughs> Oh man, that's so sad. This old small but she ain't lacking courage. <laughs> oh. Oh man, if it was, if if it was fist, I could elusive and uh, have him dodge, dodge the black spear. <laughs> it's okay, we have Nautilus, so turn seven we are probably gonna stabilize. I'm gonna block the four four. The 3-2, the 1-2 uh, I'm not gonna block, I'm gonna keep as much stats as possible on this boy <laughs> Okay, trade down his board Luckily he didn't have Kalista Otherwise uh, we'll be in deep, deep trouble Turn 6, so one more turn before we play Nautilus 
We're gonna play Nautilus next turn, so it's not a good idea to pull Shark. Uh, because uh, well, we won't have enough mana. I could just attack right now, right? I could not, so. Oh, the rally token got a little buff to the animation. <coughs> uh, maybe I'll draw first. See what I draw. You've been warned. That's pretty good, right? I can warn his. Uh, I can warn his Miss Rave. I okay, want his Miss Wraith and uh, challenge it with my 3-3 and uh, probably develop a Beast Below as well Ah, uh, maybe we should have developed the Beast Below first and see if he plays anything better to get rid of I guess not Hmm Now, if we play the pool shark, we basically obliterate one, right? So we get a little bit closer to being deep. But I don't think it's worth it. I think I think it's okay if the Nautilus is just an O12. And uh, I don't think we ever attack with the 4-4. So I'm just going to get rid of the uh, Miss Rave right now. See if we draw something better. We drew exactly. <laughs> Exactly what we uh, were planning to play anyway. Okay, it's okay with me. So our minions, we, we're gonna outvalue him pretty soon. He only has uh, three cards left, and we have a million cards, and uh, we're gonna be deep in another another turn or so, I think. Now we don't necessarily have to play Nautilus yet. Uh, we can. Uh, we can we can burst <clears throat> we can cast this so that we can nah it's okay we'll just mm. no yeah this this doesn't we don't get deep yet so mm. i think this is a too good a card to play now we, we just wait right we don't get deep yet so yeah because this only draws at round start so I mean there's a there's a chance that we that we try and get the deep right. Hmm. There's a chance that we top deck a, a draw engine or so. I think we'll just play the sea monster and burst the pick a card so that we can at least play the Nautilus and probably something else. A uh, one mana card. We have one mana left over, and we can also get to play this for zero mana. We could also double block. Yeah, there's no, there's no, like it's not necessary to maintain a high health. Ah, we just get rid of the pull shot, right? Don't really need it. Oh, they go, they don't get to see what we discard. Oh, that's interesting. It used to be that you get to see what your opponent discards, right? Oh, shuffle a card from your hand into your deck, so it's not a discard. Alright, we are deep now. Ooh. Do we rather play this rather than Nautilus? It's, it's hard, it's hard to say that, right? I think we always play the Nautilus, right? And just don't care about these cards. Yeah, we always play the Nautilus. We don't really need value. We need tempo right now. We have a lot of value already. Oh, vengeance? Yay. That's a that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. So that means that we can't play the beast monsters anymore. Oh no. That's gonna level. Hmm. So, oh, we still have to charm the waters, so that's okay. I 
Ah, this is getting a bit spicy because of the because of the vengeance. Yeah, vengeance bought him an extra turn. I need to find Nautilus again. I have I have two. But uh, we can we can play uh, probably the six drop right because it obliterates away the thrash. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the thrash a ASAP. It's getting a bit scary. He gets rid of it himself. Okay. I mean, that's okay with me. Uh, I think we save it, right? I mean, what else are we gonna do with our mana? Yeet that thing out of here. Also, oh, although at least, at least uh, we reset his uh, level up condition. Okay, so we can make it vulnerable. No, we can't make it vulnerable because the Rekindler is the strongest unit right now. So we can. What we can do is uh, we can play the uh, Terror. No, we could charm the water also, but we don't really need to get rid of the Thresh like immediately. Whereas giving all our sea monsters fearsome, he might even just surrender here, unless he has something like ruination. This is a good ruination for him. If he doesn't ruin it, I don't think he can get out of it. What is this? Oh, that doesn't matter. So, I could make the 4-4 vulnerable. Oh, it's only attacking that I... So if I attack now, none of them can block, right? Uh, Yeah, that's true. None of them can block. Wow, sea monsters, man. <laughs> oh, I think ruination was only out. How do you how do you get rid of uh, this? Yeah, that's like thirty damage to the face. Man, this I thought it was a beam deck when the when I drafted it first, but uh, it's it's proving to be actually a pretty pretty strong deck, huh? All right, do we want a fist? No, cause we want Nautilus. Mm, charm the water. We don't want any more heaviness. Yeah. yeah. I'm just thinking, charm the water for coral creatures. Not the worst idea, right? Because we, we need more low drops. But Charm the Water is pretty strong. You know, it's a it's a removal at four mana. Can get rid of pretty uh, difficult to reach creatures like elusives or you know by giving them vulnerable and long long tooth is so cute. A shark <laughs> Look, looks a bit like Bruce from Finding Nemo. Maybe that was the art style that they were trying to mimic anyway. Hmm. Is it the same guy? It's certainly the same champions. It could be the same guy. I, I wasn't looking at his name. Uh, these are some nice early drops. One and two. Uh, But we don't need so many one drops, right? Let's try and get our sea monsters or whatever. So the more I think about it, the the more insane toss is, right? 
Because you, you don't toss your champions and the champions are the win condition so you actually pseudo draw further into your uh, champions uh... Like there's a higher chance that you top deck your champions I'm gonna open attack here so that I can activate the plunder for pilfered goods And uh, like I mentioned his deck is stronger than our deck so drawing from his deck is probably actually better and we got rid of his weak in low, which is nice. So we have TF on 4. Ooh. That is one of the strongest uh, possibilities, I think, from his deck. So I'm gonna play the 1 draw. Got the ghost again. The 2 1 can block the 3 2, but the 4 4 is probably gonna go in for free. Okay. That is looking a bit scary now. So, hmm. do we play the Vow Feast? But the Vow Feast, yeah, we don't play the Vow Feast, right? The Malfis gives us an, gives us an extra blocker in the spider link. But uh I don't think that's necessary at this point in time. We could find better value later. I'm gonna play the TF. Uh unless we want to play the skills of the dragon. I think TF is probably the best, right? I'm gonna play the gold card because the red card would activate his curse keeper. Oh wait a minute. Ah uh, he boxes us. Alright. I'm gonna take it then. Although our 1-2 can go in for one extra chip. Which is uh, okay. Now, if he doesn't open attack, uh, or if he open attacks, I'll just block it with the one two and uh, bow feast it later. Oh, he see, he's really putting up a, a strong case, man. <laughs> he's really putting up a strong case. So. I guess I'm going to just uh, block it this way. I get rid of it immediately. Them. And uh, yeah, that's all we could do, right? And that's a weird combo where we twin discipline and warn the uh, 3 3 and draw a card. But I think in that case, why don't we just salvage, right? Got rid of a sea monster. Got to chum the water. Oh, okay. Brash Gambler is really good because it lines up well against the 4 force. And there's a lot of junk in our hand. For instance, we don't really need Rekindler. Although it, it can revive the Nautilus if it gets vengeance, right? So how, how deep are we? 19? Okay. Probably don't really need dragon protection and uh probably don't really need elusive. So which ones do we need less? Maybe it's nice to have dragon protection, right? I'm feeling lucky. I'll just get rid of one one morning. Uh, because well, I guess it can cycle itself, which so it, it's not that bad. But you know, having defensive tools uh, to keep our minions alive will keep our face alive, and we can draw into Nautilus more safely. I'll we'll go ahead and attack here. Oh, we drew two cards. I forgot about that effect. 
Luckily we didn't draw into the uh, champions. Otherwise that'd be really sad. Oh he, he gets rid of our He gets rid of our gambler, but we are closer to finding Nautilus now. That's not Nautilus. Yeah yeah yeah. This is this is looking a bit scary. Oh no 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 no. Uh, uh, we had a long tooth, right? We have to. We have to. Long Wait, we have a champion. Who died? Huh? Huh? Oh, TF died. Right, right, right. Now TF's ability is. Uh, what is his ability? Wait, where is he? I I'm wondering, is it play or summon? Oh, it's play, so it's basically a 2-2, a, a I guess. So that's not worth it. I'm gonna, gonna grant the... Uh, maybe the 4-4 the four, four vulnerable. And uh, No, I should have granted it the 7-7. Seven, seven. I could have played Twin Discipline. What is this? Huh? Summon a sapling mix round. Huh? Such a ran random ass. What is that even? Actually, I can get rid of the the seven seven with the twin discipline, or I could get rid of two four fours uh, with the twin discipline as well. I'm thinking maybe we get rid of the seven seven right. Because that 7-7 seven, seven is looking a little bit sketchy at this point in time. Fresh meat. Although it is easier to block though, like I could have just any random random minion have it blocked, right? Aya. I'm thinking do we charm charm the four? I think not, right? We can still we are still alive, right? Yeah, we're still alive. So the the one body could be potentially useful. So that's the sapling. The sapling is ephemeral, so it is gone after this turn. Oh, uh, damn! We really need to find our big drops, or or we could just rekindle. Ah, uh, this is this is very bad. Rekindle is a 4-4 that challenges these things, so... And we get to warn one of them, right? Yeah, maybe we don't really have a choice. Kind of running out of options. Yeah, his, his start was a bit nuts, man. The Butcher from the uh, on the Undying got so much value. If we face him again, maybe it's best if we just kill the Undying and just take the immediate 4-4. When another ally dies, drain one from the enemy nexus. What? Oh my god, we gotta get rid of that one. <laughs> like right now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. So the spells in Deep Sea Monster is all slow speed though. Which is quite funny. So it is a very slow deck, right? But it's very value oriented. Okay. Not really something that we were looking for. Cause the elusive uh, narwhal is oh man where are our where are our nautilus man really need the 012 body blocking now I think I, I'm thinking between discipline the 42 right it's better so going to oh we can we can dragon protection the 42 all right 
So it could be good to keep the uh, I mean do we really even bother keeping the Twisted Fate around? So 4, 3, 2 oh, We got the Norwals Get some uh, important Big important cards Very nice uh, Gotta trust your instincts. Yeah, I'm gonna trust my instincts and say goodbye to TF Oh, we are deep now Oh, that's really good Now if we twin this, oh we, we're getting one, I think one damage through right We don't really need the deep just yet Cause this gets, this gets the job done just as well right Like we just need the 4 damage Alright that's the Maokai uh, So we just need max defense Alright, max defense I think we're okay, yeah, he ran out of value Gonna block Do I block this as well? I think, I think so, right? Yeah Cause we have a lot of value coming up So it's okay if he gets a 4-4 like the body is very inconsequential at this point in time Oh, praise the lords Blood and salt, Blood and salt. Uh, Let's hope he doesn't have vengeance uh, uh, Okay, not vengeance Mm-hmm so we can play both sea monsters here. Uh, I'm thinking we obliterate the the Maokai, right? For sure. Obliterate the Maokai immediately. Play another 7-7. Seven, seven. Challenge the 4-4. Four, four. Alright, that's enough. He's seen enough. He has seen enough. Good. <laughs> Nautilus agrees. And the voice lines The voice lines in this game are is incredible man. Alright. Tractors for year been one. Uh, I like the body. The two one body is pretty good. Oh, this is a easy trade, right? I have to trade this. Pick a card for twin splints. It's pretty good also, but now it's just not good enough. Like the uh, it's just not good enough. Oh, we have we are at a final boss, so we have a couple of traits available. Uh, dragon skill for beast below. We don't really need more late game, like I said. So it's good to keep our. Oh, we have shadow assassin. It's good to keep our our mana curve light. Shadow assassin is pretty good. Like I wouldn't trade it for uh, for Corsaire, even though it is lighter. Hmm. Dragon skill for beast below. Yeah, we don't really need that much late game. We, we once we are deep and once we have Nautilus out, it's over. Now this is something that we want, right? The uh, hunting fleet for the jaw hunters. I didn't even know I had these cards. Like I've never seen it in the whole run so far. <laughs> jaw hunters. Jaw is of course the a reference to the ship Riptide Abyssal Eye I mean Abyssal Eye is just good right Jordo Grifter Oh this is the uh, Bilgewater Allegiance card Draw one from the enemy deck I mean I have a lot of Allegiance though actually What's a warning shot? Uh, warning shot is pretty useless But drawing one from the enemy deck is not terrible right Although this We have to, we have to trade it away for a year being worn And I think it's just not worth it Scrap shot is a little bit too slow And we already have one of it Double trouble for a Razor scale hunter Grant enemy vulnerable It's not terrible It has scout But we don't really need speed right in our deck 
Uh, I want to get rid of the brush gambler. Yeah, the brush gambler is uh, it's not doing it for me. Wait, what? Oh, do you want me to trade away my pilfer group for brush gambler? No, 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 thanks. Huh? Got a little bit confused there. I thought the brush gambler was on the left side. Oh. The, the expedition is bugging out, huh? Yeah, it's bugging out. Oh, what is this? My Abyssal eye was on the left side. So, okay. So I guess... What? Anyway, it's a good thing that we, we didn't plan to trade any of the... Ah, uh, this is actually a pretty decent trade. What? So... We did no, we didn't get rid of the, uh, I guess it's just a little bit bugged out. Yeah, we don't want to get rid of Nautilus by accident. Will of Ionia, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. We, we didn't have this in our deck. Oh, so I guess, I guess what happened is, uh, the cards in our deck is on the right side now, and the cards that uh, are offered is on the left side. Ah, that makes sense, that makes sense. Because I, I don't have a Riptide, yeah, I don't have a Riptide in my deck. But I do have these cards. So the question is, do I want to trade a Twisted Fate for Nautilus? I already have two Nautilus, I, I don't need a third one. Uh... Wait, I'm very confused. Actually, I don't have a Wheel of Ionia either. What was going on? I don't have any of these cards. I'm just gonna skip it. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> what? What happened? Well, I guess uh, Legends of Rune Terra is uh, it's just a small indie, small indie game, man. You can't expect too much from it. <laughs> just kidding. This today is the first day of the launch, so the servers are potentially a little bit overloaded. Ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna pause it. In the end, they could not find us a worthy opponent. They sent us Pearlbot AI, which means the uh, seven win is probably almost guaranteed. I, I would say the AI doesn't really play as well as humans, and their deck isn't that strong. From what I've experienced, I want to keep Nautilus in my opening hand. And uh, what I would like to do against the AI, the AI does play very fast, right? So let's see if we can mirror his speed. They picked the wrong road. Like instant, the decisions are all instant from the AI. And uh, we're gonna try and do it instant as well. We didn't get a blocker. That's really sad. Any blocker will be better. I'll do better this time. This one's trouble. Okay, he blocked for us, so we go one for one, which is nice. So this is a hyper turbo challenge. See if you can keep up. <laughs> Gonna double trouble, get as many blockers out there as possible. Ooh, okay, okay, he's flooding the board. Gonna toss the bottom of our deck. Doesn't matter, just a bunch of junk. As long as it's not Nautilus, right? Uh, gonna block. This is Challenger. Looking for fear. I'm gonna just play as defensively as possible since he looks like a flooding board. He only has three cards left, and uh, we're gonna win the late game or even the mid game, no matter what. So just gotta just gotta make sure we have the bodies on the bodies on the floor. Okay, okay. Just looking out for the public. So he's trading down. He has a life stealer now. An elusive. I think the elusive is a little bit scarier. 
So we're gonna go ahead and challenge him, I think. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, okay, we're gonna play another deep. Because this, this challenge just does that. And I think that's more important than anything. As long as he doesn't have a buff, okay. So we get rid of the set. Next we're gonna play the challenger. Because uh, we can challenge away the elusive. So we're gonna play this. Danger And we might as well salvage right later on. Uh cause uh we're gonna get get closer to our get closer to our deep deep nautilus. It's too late for you. you know what? I think I'm just gonna play the creature first. Pledge yourself to the shadow. Yeah. You don't have to be mana efficient. Because uh, that's not the name of the game. Uh, I think Nautilus is not today. Not today, little ones. Wait, what can I? Oh, I can play the Yebi Wand. Uh, I don't want to warn anything. Do not deny me. So I'm gonna block this way. And we're gonna go deep, right? Too greedy. Too greedy? Nah, 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 nah. We're going deep. Wait, are we deep yet? We're not deep yet. Oh, we're not deep yet. Okay, okay. So, Nautilus doesn't level and our sea monsters are still very expensive. Now, in that case, I think I'm gonna rip tight the... Uh, we tie the set back, probably. Everyone here? Let's go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. wait a minute. Uh, maybe we challenge the Z. Yeah, 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 we challenge the Z. Uh, there's so many elusive. What? What in the world? Yo, 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 yo. Am I about to lose to an AI? Oh man. Okay, so he has. Oh wait wait, these are not elusive, next turn. So we can play a gambler and uh just block block things down, right? Okay, okay. Let's calm down a little bit. Calm down a little bit. Uh we don't really care for the protection, right? We just need a rip type for the Z. And uh Do we need to warn anything? Yeah. Don't need to want anything. All in. Oh, we're all in. Oh man. Uh oh. If we attack with the gambler now, right? We draw two, so we become deep. Right. So. So uh, so our nautilus levels. Yeah, that's not bad, right? And uh, everything else just remain as blockers. Ah, okay, okay. We see some uh, pretty cool interactions. All will drown. See some pretty cool interactions. Ooh, okay, okay. He blocks with the spirit research. Ah, spirit refuge. Spirit research is a League of Legends item. Uh, we're gonna rip tight away the Z ASAP. If he doesn't open attack, he does open attack. Oh no! We're still gonna rip tight in a way. And uh, yeah, and uh, we're gonna block as much damage as possible. Hopefully, not die. Now that just won't do. Looks like we will be okay. Ah, uh, what a relief. <laughs> I thought I was gonna lose to some AI. 
Okay, okay. We're okay, we're okay. We are okay. I think this is just GG, right? And there you have it. Nautilus, Lee Sin, Twisted Fate. The Rising Tides is insane, man. There's, there are so many. The waters cannot be sated. Yeah, there are so many uh, insane archetypes available. 7-7 seven, seven wins, no problem. Hope you guys enjoyed the expedition run as much as I did. I, I thought it was going to be a meme run when they first offered me the uh, selections. They weren't looking too good. And uh, if you like this video, drop a like and uh, subscribe for more of Rising Tides content, man. And uh, I also do guides for Constructed. Yeah, but I'm gonna wait for the meta to settle down a little bit because today is the first day of uh, the release. Yeah, so stay tuned. I'm gonna check out what rewards we have. Ooh, where are we? Huge water. Just a bunch of wall cards. Okay, see you.